there's not always a dot, so it could just be that one's never been created on there. If you created one and start putting settings in it, it could be something. Other questions on customizing these editors? I mean, I'm not going to go into what all these customizations do because that's what Google's for, but there, this is how you customize it. There is a dot .emax file, you put things in it, and it changes the way Emacs works. So we looked at Emacs and Vim tonight. Uh, the other editor that a lot of people like to use, well, I mean, there's a number of them, Sublime is pretty popular right now. 